What up fellas, it's your boy Johnny, and with fashion being all about trends, people's style now is following trends. Now I'll be honest, that was mainly me over the past year, and also not letting go of trends. Oops. It can be hard to find your own style. I get it because I've gone through it. And to be honest, we all go through it. It's all a part of the process. And now I really do feel like I found my style. And so today I'm going to give you guys a few tips on how to find your own aesthetic and your own style. Let's get started with the most important king of all tips. And that is fitment. If you're wearing items that don't really fit your body, you can look out of place. So to keep it simple, if you're a skinnier dude or you have some extra weight on you, you're gonna wanna keep your items a bit more oversized. You know, just to fill yourself out or to not show how filled out you are. If you're a dude with broader shoulders, you lift and have some extra pounds of lean muscle on you, then you're gonna not wanna hide that. You'd want to showcase it. You put in the hard work, why not show it off? But obviously these are guidelines. I'm someone who kind of falls in the middle. I'm a smaller, skinnier dude, but I also lift and have put on some muscle mass over the years. Not much though. So for me, I can rock both. And in most cases, so could you. The skinnier dude could also wear more fitted shirts and the dude that lifts could also wear more oversized pieces. But for now, just remember, you don't wanna show how scrawny you are or that you got some extra weight on you. And if you are in great shape, why not show it off? Just don't be a douchebag. Next up, you guys wanna carry a ton of basics and essentials in your wardrobe. And most people do, but it is never a bad idea to invest in more. The reason being is these items never go out of style and they could also be paired with the latest trends so that you can still stay on what's hot. Without having to invest in items that end up dying later that year. Me personally, skinny jeans, solid colored tees, crew neck sweatshirts, and jackets are essential for my style. Simple is always better and less to think about. And they also layer perfectly during the colder months. So if I were you, invest in the classics. A solid pair of black denim, a solid fitted tee or oversized tee or both, and jackets like the denim jacket and the varsity jacket. Next tip I'm going to give you guys is one that has helped me a lot, and that is to understand what you wear the most. The reason being is because those items make you feel the most confident and what really matters more than that. Understanding it will help you figure out your style going forward because now you know what your baseline is for what you wear And then whenever you go shopping you can figure out how to style those items with new items for myself I definitely wear a ton of beaded bracelets and accessories I wear a lot of runners hoodies and cargo pants and because I understand that when I buy new items I think of those items and it helps me with my purchasing decision and I'm sure it does for others out there as well Richie Lee Olive Frugal Aesthetic Vans and White Sneakers Jose Zuniga Essentials this video is sponsored by Essentials, so if you haven't already heard, Essentials is a company that makes a ton of basics and essentials that everyone needs in their wardrobe, like I said earlier, and they aren't just a t-shirt company. They have a drop today, August 24th. They should be live right now. So you're gonna wanna click the link in the description, use my discount code TIE10 to save some money because they sell out faster than Spider-Man leaving the MCU. This time they're dropping some awesome pieces like their new sweat shorts, muscle tanks, short sleeve polos, and new colored basic tees as well. I personally really dig their black pieces. They nailed their hoodies, the Henleys, and V-necks, but the colored pieces are awesome as well. I'm telling you, the quality of their pieces, and I know a lot of people say, yo, this is quality, but the quality on these items is next level. And you guys are definitely gonna get your money's worth because high quality pieces last a long time. And big major announcement as well. Your boy is gonna be in LA on October 26th for the Essentials pop-up shop. I'll be there with Jose, Alex Costa, Destroying, and many other influencers you guys know as well. It's gonna be a ton of fun. I will definitely be the one with the least amount of clout. So you guys should come through and make myself feel better about myself. Anyways, Essentials is also doing something special. They are gonna pick five winners and fly them out to LA to kick it with us in October. Yeah, man, kick it with me, kick it with everyone. And all you have to do to qualify is per purchase anything. It's free shipping domestically, and if you spend over $150, it's free shipping internationally, and you could get flown out and kick it with all of us. All you gotta do is click the link in the description, use my discount code TIE10, you might and good luck because they sell out quick. Next up, what is your lifestyle? So fashion is all about expressing yourself, not expressing another person's taste. It's about you and a good start is to understand what your lifestyle is like. Are you into well-fitted, tailored, dapper business attire? Are you in the corporate lifestyle and love business and entrepreneurship? Well, this style might be for you. Or you're more like me, you are a creative, you like rap and EDM, you've skated, you like sneakers, you like playing ball, and you love the whole streetwear culture and aesthetic, well, street fashion may be for you. Or you're also like me and you dig both. And you're good because seven days out of the week, 
You can wear a ton of different styles and experiment because whether you're street, casual, or dapper, each style has its own branches of styles and you can experiment with a ton of them. This is a good happy medium and it's fun. And last but not least, you gotta have the right mindset. You wanna have your inspirations, but don't outright copy, man. This mindset goes outside of fashion. This applies to your life, if you make videos. But going back to fashion, if you like a piece that someone else has worn, maybe it's a jacket or a pair of sneakers, use their style as inspiration to develop your own. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is don't just follow guys for your fashion inspo. Follow me, of course. But don't just limit yourself to just guys because girls actually really know fashion probably better than guys. They have a better understanding of color blocking and they like to experiment a lot more than us. I've done the copying thing before, man, I'll admit it. And trust me, people will notice it. Be unapologetically you with your style because who really cares about what people think? What matters is you're feeling yourself. It's all about experimentation, combining different designs and styles, and color blocking. This is all a trial and error thing. A few years down the road, you're gonna look back at yourself and you're gonna think, what the hell was I doing? And then just cringe and never look at those pictures or videos again like I do for myself. At least you won't have YouTube videos on it like I do. Anyways, that is how I personally found my style. I hope this video helps. Follow me on Instagram for potential inspo. And for the YouTube algorithm, like this video for the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm, okay? And until then, stay fly, have some fun, and I'll see you out in LA, all right? I'm out. Peace. Peace. Peace.